You know, as a meteorologist, I would say the weather has an effect on everything, even the game of tennis. Yeah, the heat has an effect on how the game is played. Here's the science behind how summer heat affects tennis. Tennis can get hot in July in Atlanta, especially at the BB&T Open. The heat and humidity certainly has an effect on us, but it also has effects on the way the game is played. It really makes for interesting tennis you're really not going to see anywhere else because the ball's flying so fast. It really gives the players that are big hitters and uh, the tall players really, really an advantage. It's really fun to watch. Playing on an asphalt court for nearly three hours can be draining on the body. On extremely hot days, the air temperature can reach 91 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, but the heat radiating off the court will make it feel 15 to 20 degrees hotter, so players have to be smart and conserve their energy. Tennis balls don't sweat, but because they're hollow, the air inside will play a major role in the hot weather. The heat causes the mole air molecules in the ball to expand, so they're trying to get out of the ball, so that makes the ball want to move faster and bounce higher. As tricky as it can be for players, Rick says the heat the makes the game more competitive. Ooh, nice. You have to be able to move your feet quicker to uh, be able to anticipate where the ball is going to bounce. So it's a big advantage for a player like John Isner, our defending champ, he's 6'10", and his ball naturally bounces higher. And then within the heat, it's even going to bounce higher coming off his racket with the air molecules in the ball. Rackets can be affected as well. The elasticity of the strings depends on weather conditions. While cold weather requires lower tension to enable more power, in hot weather, players need tighter strings to compensate for more control. Ah! For some of us, namely me, the weather plays less of a role. Ah! There's no excuse for a bad <laughs> shot. Plus, my outfit doesn't help. I'm glad you said it. <laughs> that was a good serve. I'm even in a tie. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm, I'm a tie. yeah I did it. Yeah, well, it was, like... And it was hot. It was, it was like 9 o'clock in the morning. It was hot even then. Mm -hmm. And they were like, you're not sweating. I said, hey, man, I'm cool under pressure. You know what I mean? Cool. I started sweating when I got in the car. But, uh, yeah, of course, the, uh, the weather plays a role in the outdoor event. But you probably don't think about the effects that it has on the equipment that you have to use. Right. I mean, it affects just about everything from golf, tennis, football, all of it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, with golf, the compression of the golf ball, the yeah. hotter it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 This piece was eye-opening. I had no idea. So they essentially have to switch out rock, uh, rackets yes. depending on yeah. where they play. And you see, you'll see that often. You'll see that often that they'll go get another racket in between matches and stuff like that because of that, uh, because of the heat. Yeah. 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 Or cold if it's, you know, yeah, they played during the heat. That's why they have to practice beforehand, right? They can't just get out there. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Oh. Well, no real major heat around.